Hey everyone, Eric Goins from Automate Intelligently here. I want to make a quick tutorial on how to make read receipts in Adalo, uh, similar to what you'd see in WhatsApp or something like that. So what I've done is this is just a prototype app. It's called Stuvi and it's so coaches and athletes can talk to each other. And one of the key features is coaches want to verify who has read a message once they post it. So we have a list of official announcements here. And if I go to one of these official announcements, uh, you can see there's a read by, read by uh, button here. It's only visible to the coaches that the athletes wouldn't be able to see this. But if you click in, it would generate a list of everyone who has uh, read that message. Okay. And if we go into some of these others, it, it should be this, the exact same profiles. Okay. You can see one more profile there and you have the ability to search, etc. So how we did this, it's very simple. Um, let me move my thing here. Basically, what we have done is in our users, we have a last login um, uh, item here. And every time they log into the app, uh, what we do is um, in our login screen is this field button uh, updates um, the, the last time the user has logged in. Okay, and that's because the official announcements sit on this page. So you could also have it so that anytime anyone clicks, you know, a channel or into a specific, um, into a message or something like that, you could have it update that the last time they logged in. And what we've done is uh, we have a read by message list that is just simply filtered by uh, did the person log in after the current message date and time? So that's true for any message. So they might have logged in a day ago. There was a message two days ago. It would assume that they've read that. Um, and then there could be a message today and it would say, oh, this person did not read it if you were to go into that message and click on it. Very simple to set up. Um, and you could you could technically do that on all of your pages. One thing this does is it kind of prevents you from having to log every single time the user uh, logs in, which if you have a lot of users would use up a lot of data in rows. Uh, so basically you could build this out for every sheet or screen um, if you wanted to, uh, so that you could capture, you know, did the user go to this page, yes or no, since the last time something has been sent. If you have a true WhatsApp style app where there could be, you know, pages that you don't know about that are just auto generated by the users, then you will need a, a dedicated table to, um, to all of those things in a relationship of the last time the user uh, has logged in. So you, you would need a probably like a read by collection that is a collection of users and a collection of um, of the different channels they're part of and then the last time they logged in and then somebody could click into a message and see has that user logged into this channel since the, you know the last time this message was sent etc hope that helps if you have any questions just let me know cheers